welcome everyone from after lunch. I hope you're not all drowsy from the lunch. Uh, during lunch, I went for a walk with Joe. Uh, we went around a bit Central Park, and then we went to Tiffany's. And I did see some nice things there, so I don't know where the camera is, but boyfriend, if you're watching, you know. <laughs> so, uh, today we're going to talk about storybook interaction tests. What if your stories were, were already your retweet tests? And we're going to be seeing a lot of pictures of my cats. As Philip very well said, I'm a senior engineer at the Next, GD for Angular Web and Maps, WTM ambassador. I like cats, I like mountains, oatmeal and chocolate. And you can follow me at CyberCity or find my website, cyber.city. So today we'll talk about the, briefly talk about the importance of UI testing and how Storybook helps for that. I'm going to be looking at you, Jeff. Uh, uh, about E3 tests and Storybook in the context of NX, uh, about Storybook interaction tests and how you can set up and run Storybook interaction tests with the help of NX, the benefits of Storybook interaction tests, and how you can choose between E3 testing and component testing, or actually E3 component testing and Storybook interaction tests. So let's start with UI testing. And that's Malone testing the functionality of a glass. Uh, so the importance of uh, UI testing, I hope you are, it's, it's self-explanatory, but let's briefly say that it's all about error detection, identify bugs and errors before software reaches the end user, usability verification, you verify that what you want to do actually works, regression prevention, uh, helps in identify any adverse effects due to changes in code base to prevent regression, user journey validation to validate that what, you, what your user journey wants to be actually is, uh, improve reliability, of course, and actually reduce costs because if you detect issues early in the development cycle, you reduce the cost and effort required for fixing bugs. And this is also, of course, where tweet test comes into play by testing the whole functionality of an application, UI testing included in there. Uh, as I said, yeah. And this is just the video that's playing in the background is a, a, the storybook interaction test in action, which we're going to analyze more. Um, how storybook helps in UI testing? Uh, storybook, what basically is, is uh, a tool for developing UI components in isolation. It supports various frameworks and it promotes component-driven development. A storybook provides a unified platform for developing and testing components. It reduces the need for separate testing environments, which is exactly what we're going to be focusing on today. And it also streamlines the development process due to the things mentioned above. Um, it retests and storybook. That's man muhagging a little dinosaur. Um, up until now, or up until, I guess, the latest version, the, the previous version, uh, NX prompted you to generate Cypress specs along with whenever you configure Storybook for a project. Um, these tests, what they do is the Cypress test, the CT tests would uh, start a Storybook instance, and Storybook instance starts a component in isolation. And because this is just on a browser, Cypress could actually go in that browser, in that browser iframe, in the browser window, and run its assertions on the DOM elements there. So this method is effective, but it sort of creates an overhead and a complexity that's not actually needed because uh, so it requires additional configuration because you have to configure Cypress separately along with having configured Storybook and you have to manage separate testing environments, which as, as again, as I said, it is effective, but it creates an overhead. And as I was discussing previously uh, with Adrian, it also creates additional costs, right? That you may not need. So this is where storybook interaction tests come into play. And Malone is testing Manmu for interaction. This is what this image is trying to convey. 
Um, again, the video that's playing is uh, a demonstration of uh, storybook interaction test. It's basically component testing. Uh, it verifies uh, functional aspects of the UI. They're designed to verify that. They simulate user behaviors such as clicks and form entries on components set to its initial state, and then it runs subsequent uh, checks for the UI. Um, it asserts that the UI and the component states updates uh, accordingly. Again, it's not visual testing, so it doesn't take snapshots and compares the snapshots. It takes, uh, for example, in this example, it, it gets the, the DOM element, the, the button element, and makes sure that the text on the button, for example, updates as we're clicking the button. Or another example would be that you click a button, uh, a model pops up. So it tests actually user interactions or what you could test with uh, an E2E test running on there. Uh, the, some advantages and workflow, they run directly in your browser. Um, it facilitates easier debugging since the tests run in the same environment where components are developed. So you're not sort of having a, a different sandbox or a different tool running these things, maybe headless or anything. It's everything in your browser as your storybook is, as your component is. Uh, developers write a story to set up the component's initial state and they simulate user behavior using the play function, which we're going to see. And they employ the storybook test runner to to confirm uh, the correct component rendering interaction tests passing. They use existing stories, so if you already run a story, you can just add a play function and add an interaction test to it. Uh, the good thing that is for assertions uh, and for user events, they use testing libraries API. So if you're using already uh, testing library API, you'll feel right at home. And they enhance component-driven development uh, because they enhance this this idea or this architectural decision to, to focus on single component development and single component testing with all these um, things that Storybook offers. Uh, so, how does NX help? Uh, setting up Storybook interaction tests with NX. We have some generators for them. Uh, there is a spoiler there, and I think Yuri has already spoiled the, the, the view uh, support, but uh, we have a uh, Storybook uh, interaction test generators for React, for Angular, and for Vue. Uh, they are built in the Storybook configuration generator, so if you're already using the Storybook configuration generator, it just generates interaction tests for you already. The video is showing the generator in action. Uh, what they do is they set up um, uh, they set up your interaction test, they install the necessary dependencies, and they also install Storybook Test Runner, and they create a test storybook target. And of course, they create a simple uh, example test for you. Um, so, uh, just kidding, I don't have a white theme. Uh, so, this is an example. <laughs> Thank you, Jeff, for laughing. Uh, so this is an example of a play function of, uh, of the button bin click that I showed before. So as you can see, you have the play function, and you have your canvas, which is your DOM. You have the button, which you can, you can just do canvas.get by role and get the button, and you do just user event.click the button, as you usually do when you're using test and library. Or it's, it's the familiar syntax. And then you just expect the button, the inner text of the button to be that. So it's just written into a test, but it's inside your story, your already existing story. Another example, so for example, another example is that if you have this React component, which is just the title and the second heading, which has a data test ID, my title, uh, for example, you can go here and do canvas.findbytestid and expect the, the text content to be Katerina. And, oh, and what I wanted to show here is that uh, in your stories, of course, you have props, which are the, the React props, for example, that are set using the args, uh, uh, the args attribute in your story. So if you're having different props, you can, this is very simple because this prop just changes the title, uh, but you can pass different titles and with the play function assert that the props are getting updated the way that you want them to be updated. Now how you run the tests is that, as I said, the generator generates a test storybook target, which is just using the nx run commands 
uh, which invokes the storybook test runner. So this is all it, this does is that it's invoking the storybook test runner and it passes the URL that your storybook is running on. And how you can run the tests usually as you uh, do like annex storybook, uh, you have to be running a uh, storybook in one uh, window and in the other window you do annex test storybook. And let's see this video here. If you run annex test storybook, it will just run and show you um, show you the results in a, in in a way that you see the test results. Yeah. Um, so uh, this is a, a full example of how it looks like. So you have the interactions tab in your storybook um, in your storybook layout, and in the interactions tab, you see that you have. Um, you have the, the different events that you're you're recording, and if you force it to make a mistake, it will. It runs a bit fast this video, but yeah, you can see that you can actually choose and uh, play the the steps step by step, and it says pass. If you make a mistake, it says fail. And what's very cool about that is that, as you know, you can deploy Storybook, so you can actually have this test deployed somewhere and share them with your team or with. Uh, yeah, with your team, not, I don't know, with who else you would want to share the tests with, but uh, yeah, <laughs> with, with my grandma, yes. Um, yeah, so the cool thing about that is that you get shareable results uh, that you have deployed somewhere. Uh, so the benefits of storybook interaction tests, and I put Cheddar there because he's such a cutie, yes, and he, explains the, the word benefit, I guess. <laughs> so um, it's an integrated environment, right? You don't have the overhead of an extra tool. It's right there in your storybook, right there in your story. You get the shareable live demos that I just explained that you can share with your grandmother potentially. Uh, you get consistency across environments, uh, which means the tests are run in the same environment where components are developed and they ensure consistency and they make debugging easier. And also you have less overhead, like needing to maintain two different things. Like I have my E2E test there and my storybooks here and I have to keep these in sync, you know. Uh, so this is enhanced developer experience, I guess. Of course, improved documentation because storybook, I guess, improves documentation because you have your, your components all there. And I know you're looking at me and we're almost there. <laughs> And isolation testing. So it's where your component testing depends on your use case. And that's a quote by me. <laughs> um, again, as I said, it's a controlled environment. Uh, focus testing, like granular focus testing on your specific components and integrated workflow, which I think is the most important. So let's wrap up now. These are my cats that are wrapped up. <laughs> uh, testing is essential in UI development. Component tests are great because of what I said. Um, yeah, storybook interaction tests have lots of benefits over generally tweet tests or other component testing tools because, as I said, if you're already using storybook, it, they remove the need of you having to maintain extra code and extra tools. And the benefits of interaction tests include integrated dev workflow, shareable live devoms, and faster testing. And you can find the code for what I showed at my GitHub, which is Mandarini slash storybook play. And I have a live example that you can share at storybook-play.vercel.app. So yeah, and you can follow me and follow an X. And yeah, that's it. <laughs>